We've had some teasers in the past, we've seen some games that tried to pick up on the hype train of tactical mobile shooters like Ace Force 2 and Operation Apocalypse, but Valorant Mobile is going to be here very very soon and it will change the mobile gaming scene forever. In today's video, we're going to dive into the world of Valorant and take a closer look at why this game is so hyped up within the mobile community, and we are also going to align all of the news updates for you today. So, let's go! Alright, first things first, what is Valorant and will the mobile version be the same? Valorant is a free-to-play, first-person, tactical hero shooter developed and published by Riot Games. When Valorant came out for the very first time, people were calling it the CSGO killer because it is the exact same principle with some more twists to it. You have two teams 5v5 and the objective is to defend or attack. Attackers will have to plant the bomb called the spike and defenders well, they obviously have to defend. The thing I like most about Valorant is that the characters are really, really unique. They have their own abilities and background stories. So what about Valorant Mobile? Will it be the same as the PC version? Well, the short answer to this is yes. Riot Games has been cooking up the mobile version for quite some time now. And about a year ago, we saw the first gameplays and images from an early test phase. But Valorant Mobile is starting to be trending again because there is another test phase going on right now as we speak, which will last throughout September. So how do we get into this test phase and try out the game? Honestly, there was a sign up process and I'm not entirely sure if you can still get access as we speak, but I'm going to be really honest with you guys. It seems like a real struggle to be able to get in right now. And given that the test phase is hosted in China, you will have a lot of lag and latency issues. So if you're like me and you don't have access to play Valorant Mobile and you don't feel like playing on 200 ping, there is an alternative coming out very, very soon called Operation Apocalypse. And some of you guys will laugh about this, but it is actually a game published by NetEase. Do you think I should cover it? Let's have a look at what it looks like. So I've been scouting social media platforms to see what people really think about Valorant Mobile and the reviews and feedback I've seen so far is really really positive and promising. The game seems to be running very very smoothly and is well optimized and like most mobile games the interface can be adjusted to your liking. There are already some really really advanced features in the game. One example that has been mentioned a lot is the replay camera. There is a few people that have been leaking information and gameplay about this test phase but a lot of people are actually getting banned for doing this because the game is under a very very strict NDA. I'd love to show you guys some of the footage I've seen but also I want to avoid a strike on my channel so I really hope you understand but just know that the footage that you are watching right now on the screen is very very similar to what is happening in the test phase right now. I'm not gonna lie to you guys but when I say that I think this might be the next big shooter game for the mobile gaming community I really really mean it. Valorant is a really really fun game to play on PC especially when you invite a few friends over and even on a competitive level it is super super entertaining to watch. Valorant has already proven to be doing really really well on PC but also on console. I also think we will get the option of linking our Riot game account to your mobile device so that would mean that we could have our skins from pc and console over on our mobile device as well so when is valorant mobile coming out or when do we get to test it in other regions well there is no official information around this but given that the game is already in a very good state my guess would be that we could potentially see a beta launch by the end of this year or the beginning of 2025 also i saw an interesting clip from a few months ago so let's have a look at that sorry i didn't get much of that yeah, yeah, same. If you don't mind speaking up just a little bit, please. Uh, is it? Okay. Uh, my question is open for everyone. I would like to know how far the development of Valorant Mobile is done. If, and if the fans can expect the game to be launched anytime soon, given that we have seen a lot of uh, test videos in social media. Did you say Valorant Mobile? Yes. Sorry. Oh, okay. Sorry, that was the word we were missing. Yes. Okay. Um, development continues on Valorant Mobile. Um, I have no significant updates today, but um, we are still working through um, that game and its and its gameplay. Um, yeah, I'm really hoping that we can. We we haven't had we haven't had any significant updates except for um, I think some maybe leaks from 
some play tests, which, I mean, if you're play testing a thing, that's always a good sign. So no official comps from us right now, but hopefully some updates, um, maybe even later this year. So did you notice that they said updates later this year? This excludes the playtest that is going on right now, in my opinion, but I do think they will be rolling out playtests to other regions very, very soon. And maybe with the next big international tournament for Valorant Esports, they could potentially announce the official release. Riot Games has turned one of their other games also into a mobile game, and it was very, very successful. If you're familiar with League of Legends, one of the most popular mobile games in the world, they have transformed this game into a mobile game called Wild Rift, and they have done the same for a few other things. Riot Games is one of the biggest gaming companies in the world, and they definitely know what they are doing and how to develop games and invest. Like Wild Rift, I expect we're going to see some agents available on launch, the game will be free to play, and we will have regular updates. This all sounds very, very promising, but let's have a look at some actual Valorant mobile gameplay and see what the hype is about. I would really like to give credit to Anakin for the footage here. Please make sure to go and check him out. And without further ado, let's hop into the gameplay. All right, guys. So before we actually hop into this video, I wanted to show you guys how this actually looks like and not only what it looks like, but also I want to show you guys a hand cam to really give you an idea on how to play this game. Anakin over here is playing with a gyroscope, meaning that if you tilt your phone or your device, basically your aim will adjust accordingly. So let's have a look at what he does here. And then after that, we will also have a look at some in-game footage without the hand cam. So as you can see, he is moving around. He has uh, someone spawning right onto him. He goes down. But as you guys can see, this is actually TDM mode. So you respawn constantly and you're just kind of like fragging out. This is a great way to warm up. He gets one kill, gets a second kill, really controlling that recoil with that gyroscope. Gets another third kill over here. So that three kill in a row. And he really moves around nicely. As you guys can see, crosshair placement is everything in Valorant. He's going to be able to kill someone else, use that gyroscope again to adjust the aim and really control that recoil. One more time. And that person was very, very potato. But he does get some nice kills here. He goes down to a shotgun. And for those of you who are not familiar with Valorant, it's very, very important that you not only control your crosshair placement, but really know how to control a recoil. And I think gyroscope is going to be a great way to do that. And we can see that Anakin over here is also playing with four fingers. So in my opinion, four fingers is probably the best and the most advanced way to play mobile shooter games. From the experience that I have with playing mobile shooters, um, I've always tried to play with four fingers. I'm not quite used to it, but if you do want to play with uh, double fingers, I do think that's possible, but it's a lot harder to pull off. And you have a lot less control and uh, a lot less um, just flexibility on how you react. As you guys can see, Anakin is uh, really playing very, very well here. You have to think of it this way. He's also, not only is he playing on a mobile device, but also he has a lot of latency because, as we said before in this video, this game is only out in China right now, so the servers are naturally hosted on China. So if you are from Europe or from any other region besides China, you are going to have some latency issues. But he's playing very, very nicely. And now that we've seen this hand cam play, let's hop into some gameplay um, to get a better idea of what that would look like. Alright, Anakin put a wall up for utility that we just saw. Let's see what they do. They're going to try to push the A side over here. They have a wall. They have a Phoenix pushing to the left side. Phoenix is a dealist, so he wants to be taking those weapons. Very nice shots on that Viper. And he is going to put down his ultimate over here. And he's going to plant a bomb inside the ultimate. Now, for people that don't know what the Viper ultimate does, basically it blinds people that walk into this. And only Viper is kind of like healthy in this kind of like zone. So very, very hard for enemies to take 1v1s in this kind of like smoke fog. Luckily for Anakin, he is just holding the bomb and his teammates do the cleanup here. So that is another round in the pocket. So... Are you guys hyped about Valorant Mobile? Personally, I really, really enjoyed the PC launch and I would love to give it a try on mobile. If I do get access, you guys can definitely expect a video on that or let me know in the comments down below if you want to see a video from the PC version. As always, thank you for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.